Okay, today we got a review of a snow plow. Let me just show you. Now this is the kind that connects underneath in these little spots right here. And then it also uses the winch to move it up and down. I'll show you. Let me turn it on first. The winch moves it up and down. So that's going to be the review today. It is on a Suzuki King Quad 400 ASI with four wheel drive. That's what it's going to be on. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this particular type of snow plow, the one that hooks underneath. And I'll show you some things I like and dislike because I've already used it a couple bit, but finally got some snow out here. We can uh, finally use it. So the next part will be me on the four-wheeler, so stay tuned. All right, we're out now. I don't know how well the audio will be. Well, here I'm dropping this down now. But these little things right down here. I've had to play with these screws. Let me turn this off for a minute. I've had to play with this to get the right uh, adjustability up because if these things are too far like that, this blade isn't going to come in contact with the ground that much. Uh, hopefully, I've got it dialed in now to where it really gets down real close to the pavement so we will see but I had to play with that uh, other than that it's worked okay let's see if I can see this name brand on this I don't know if I will she's got used so uh, we'll jump on and see how she does now since I've made some adjustments and I'll try and stand up like this most of the time to give you guys a good view. Drop it down, put it in. Okay, here's the one thing about it. When you go slow, let me back her up. Now, whenever you're doing this with this type of snow plow, you're gonna wanna go slow because I have it adjusted somewhat good, but if you're going really fast, see how it bends out like that? because it's catching on there. So you just want to raise it up just a little bit. A little bit more. Slow is the game. Slow.
if you can tell from right here it's not really scraping the pavement too much I think when snow gets built up under that it doesn't quite go down where you really want it to and I've got it all the way down so All right, now I'm gonna show you the other feature on this. I don't know about most of the brands, but mine has this little switch right here. Push it, you can uh, change the, you can change the angle of the blade. So that's how we're gonna run it now. Also got a nice little light on there. But that's how we're going to do it now. Well, let me raise this up a little bit. Right. See, these things here get filled with snow. This whole thing does. I don't think it really wants to work right when it does that. <coughs> All right, now we'll give a shot with that. Now we are over here gonna do the mound as you can see I might not be able to see that good but uh it doesn't scrape it like a plow on a road would do uh, it's kind of packed we've been driving on it a little bit more but this is where it's really gonna shine right here uh, I'll be able to push probably a good amount and I'll show you after the first swipe through what I mean See there, caught on something in the grass.
taking you back where I did the first strip. As you can see right there is where I put the blades down. It scraped good for a little bit where you could see the grass and then about three feet in front of that, you can't see the grass. After you get so much on this plow, uh, it kind of like just packs dirt under it and it'll actually, cause there's no, there's not enough weight on the actual blade for it to keep digging down. It'll just push the blade up from the snow and you'll just push less and less each time. But if you guys uh, stick around, you can see me do some more passes and then that's gonna be it for this video. Start her back up. That's why you always wanna go slow. See right now it's already did as much as it's gonna push or dig in. guys I'll take you and I'll show you what I mean obviously you guys can see all the big open spots where grass is so when it when you go to use it I think this would work probably pretty well with um, gravel pushing gravel around you can see the open grass is probably about three three and a half three and a half feet to five feet uh, and then it just comes, it just starts gradually just pushing it up. So, I mean, this is packed up snow. A couple inches. It's not too bad for it being an ATV one. Right over here is a big one. And then it just gives. This is a little mountain we got. I don't know if you'd be able to pick it up too well. But I'd say the tallest part is probably about three and a half foot. There it is. There's the blade that I've been using. I know they have other designs. I don't know how well 
Uh, the other design works, but the one that's got the two little pins underneath on the frame, it's okay. But there it is, guys. That's uh, my review on the uh, the underneath style that attaches to the frame by two pins, uh, snow plows. It's okay. I mean, here in Ohio, this is really the first snow that's really stuck around for a good amount of time. I mean, it's still snowing right now. Hopefully it continues. Um, but on the concrete, uh, it doesn't really dig down and scrape the concrete. I mean, it'll just pack and then your, your, uh, blade will just move up from the pack of snow. But I mean, if we could add probably a little bit of weight onto it, it might not do it as bad. I bet it would probably work a little bit better, but it's not bad for what it is. I mean, it came with mine when I bought the four wheeler use, so I, I can't complain about it. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Always hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.